lesson is about addition of mixing fraction with the different denominators. A mixing fraction is a fraction that has a whole number and a fraction. A whole number and a fraction. As you can see in this question, 2 is a whole number and 3 over 4 is a fraction. 3 is a whole number and a half here is a fraction. Solving this question requires two approaches. I want to solve the first example use, using the first approach. So let's do so let's do it. So the first approach is whereby you put together the whole number. So 2 plus 3, you get 5. Once you solve the whole numbers, now you take the fraction part. So the first fraction is 3 quarters plus a half. Now, as you can see, these are different denominators from this one. From our previous lesson, we learned how to add numbers with different denominators. So the first thing is to get the LCM of these denominators. So the LCM of 4 and 2, we can, uh, we can get the LCM by finding the multiples of 4 and 2. So multiples of 4, the first multiple of 4 is 4 because 4 times 1 is 4. The other one is 4 times 2 which is 8. 4 times 3 which is 12. 4 times 4 which is 16. 4 times 5 which is 20. Let's now get the multiples of 2. 2 times 1 is 2. 2 times 2 is 4. 2 times 3 is 6. 2 times 4 is 8. 2 times 5 is 10. 2 times 6 is 12. So, therefore, we can now pick a multiple. Remember the LCM, we normally pick the least multiple. So, the least multiple is 4. Although 12 is common, but 12 is bigger as compared to 4. So, we normally pick the least multiple. And the least multiple there is 4. So, the LCM is 4. The next step is we rename the fraction. So, 4 divided by 4, it's 1. 1 times 3, it's 3. 4 divided by 2 is 2. 2 times 1 is 2. Now we put together 3 and 2. So 3 plus 2 is 5 over 4. But remember we had our whole number here, which is 5. Before combining the whole number and the fraction, look at the fraction and simplify it. Because this fraction is improper. Numerator is bigger than denominator. We have to Simplify it. So numerator divided by denominator. 5 divided by 4 is 1 because of 4. Remainder, 5 take away 4 is 1. So the whole number will be 1. And our remainder will take up the fraction part, which is 1 over 4. Now remember to add this step here. We add our 5. Now we are adding our whole number plus our whole number. 1 plus 5 is 6. And our fraction part is a quarter. So this is one way of solving it. Now let's see the next example on how to solve using a different approach. In our example two, the other approach is whereby we change the mixed fraction to improper fraction. So how do we change mixed fraction to improper fraction? You multiply the denominator multiplied by the whole number. So two times five is 10. 10 plus one, 11 over two plus 4 times 3 is 12. 12 times 3 times 4 is 12. 12 plus 2 is 14. And 14 over 3. After now changing the mixed fraction to improper fraction, now we rename the fraction by getting the LCM first. So the LCM of 2 and 3. The LCM of 2, we can do the table formula. So wherever we look for common divisors so two the only divisor for two is two because of one and three remains because not divisible by two so I pick three outside here because three is a prime number divided by one and itself and therefore our LCM will be two times three which is six after that now we are renaming the fraction by expressing it under denominator six so six divided by two it's three three times eleven is that three plus six divided by three it's two 2 times 14 is 28. Now we do addition. 33 plus 28. 3 plus 8 is 11. Carry 1. 1 plus 3, 4. 4 plus 2, 6. And now we have numerator is 61 over 6. The next step is to simplify this fraction. How do we simplify? Numerator divided by denominator. So 61 divided by 6. 6 
times divide six because six times six 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 can divide six because six times one it's six. But remember, this one is sixty one. Therefore, being a tenth, put a ten here. Ten divide by once you get a 10 so here it will be 10 times 6 which is 60. 1 minus 0 is a 1 and 6 minus 6 is a 0 so here we remain with 1 and therefore because the remainder is 1 how do we how do we write it as a fraction so our quotient here becomes the whole number and our remainder takes up the fraction part whereby the denominator always remains and this is our answer I wish you the best and keep on watching and practicing because practice makes perfect. Bye bye.